This is Brent Groper speaking from Evergreen Consulting for Advanced Supply Chain Solutions, powered by IBIS. This month's topic is the incredible shrinking margin, and what it's really about is uh, your pricing and the way you do pricing and the margins you're able to attain in your business. So uh, we're calling this also, uh, what's your plan for rebuilding your margins? I want to talk first about pricing strategy and ask uh, what yours is. Uh, do you feel at your company that you have better service than your competitors and therefore that justifies higher margin? Do you feel that perhaps your service is a bit below average and it makes lower than, lower than average margins necessary for you to get the business? Or perhaps you don't even have a pricing strategy in your wholesale distribution business. So I uh, want to mention some tactical pricing options, moving away from the idea of pricing strategy for a moment, and just uh, on the day-to-day -day activities that you pursue, you and your sales force, with pricing. Uh, one tactical uh, choice you have is to use a promotional pricing approach, which is to use price to get business, to gain share, and then fix, fix it later, try and improve the margins later. Another option is what many do, which is just to, to play meet the competition and try and get uh, to customers to tell to tell us what uh, the competition is charging and, and offer to meet the price. Another possibility is to uh, be pretty much laissez-faire about pricing and to hope that the sales compensation plan in our wholesale distribution works, and that is the typical plan where uh, the compensation for the salespeople is based on a percentage of the gross margin dollars generated by the transactions with their customers. Uh, oftentimes, however, those plans really don't accomplish that uh, purpose, and perhaps we'll spend uh, the, uh, a, a month uh, on the topic of sales compensation and what really seems to work and what doesn't work uh, another time. But uh, I want to mention two more tactical pricing options before we uh, move on in talking about pricing. One is an approach to, to sell above market or to encourage the sales force to sell above market. So you're taking advantage in an opportunistic way of customer situations, but of course then they run the risk of being caught speeding and, and having to, to try and patch the situation with the customer up without losing the business or losing the customer altogether. And the last tactical approach I want to mention uh, may sound a bit pie in the sky to you, but uh, it's really perhaps the, the most sustainable one, which is to sell product at market prices and set prices based on the value that's being received by the customer, not necessarily on what you, the distributor, pay for the product. So uh, I want to mention uh, something that's been going around in the wholesale distribution world, the world, the last world, the last few, the last few years, where a uh, pricing consultant uh, offers uh, to uh, perform some magic on your on your pricing and enable you to get. A 2% increase in your margins at your company, which of course is a very handsome improvement for any wholesale distributor. Uh, a 2% margin increase, two percentage points, would uh, be equivalent to a 16 or even 20% increase in return on investment points. In other words, an increase from, let's say, from a 5% return on investment to a 21% return on investment. Uh, it, it's very desirable to do that, but uh, one thing that I could say with certainty is that anybody can raise prices on some portion of their business. There's always some business at your company, whether it's to a group of customers or it's a group of products, that's just plain underpriced. The, ch uh, the hard part, the challenge, though, is to get a sustainable improvement in margins and uh, being, being able to raise margins without having any collateral damage, that is, losing customers uh, or, or even losing important pieces of business. So uh, it's really a change management exercise. The, the, the analytical part of it's important, but it's only one piece, uh, one piece of the puzzle. Change management through the sales force is very difficult, uh, and change management for the leaders of a company is a very difficult proposition. So uh, it's one thing to get the data. It's another thing to, to put it to work. So I want to point out this month three pricing opportunities. We're going to spend one session, if you will, on each one. Uh, one opportunity is to build a better pricing system, to redesign your pricing system and your process at your company. 
A second opportunity is to go through the exercise of identifying and eliminating pricing outliers. And the third one is to build market-driven pricing matrices that will result in market-driven pricing uh, as you go forward into the future, and that's what makes uh, pricing in margin improvements sustainable. So uh, just to wrap it up in this introductory session, uh, pricing, in, in our view at Evergreen Consulting, pricing is undermanaged at most distributors. Even the best, best managed distributors we can think of typically uh, undermanage or very lightly manage the pricing function. Distributors tend to delegate way too much pricing authority uh, to the sales force, but without giving the sales force the market pricing information they need, the biggest profit improvement move most distributors can make is to optimize their margins, and uh, it's also one of the least risky moves. So until next time, this is Brent Grover from Evergreen Consulting for Advanced Supply Chain Software powered by IBIS.